Roger here from Big Fat Simulations, working on Airport Madness 3D, trying to get some better performance for all platforms, most notably mobile devices. What I'm working on now is reducing the amount of detail that is in aircraft that are at a distance. When we're up close, we like to see beautiful glossy engine nacelles and flaps and such, landing gear. But when this aircraft is far away on the horizon, we don't really care so much. So this is managed using a system called Level of Detail. Now, uh, it only gets more boring and complicated from here, so feel free to stop watching. Or you can watch me closely here and just be patient because the details are hard to see and this process is a bit slow, so there's going to be times where I'm saying nothing because I'm stumped or something. Uh, let's talk about objects. Here's a square. A uh, square is rendered as two triangles. You stick them together, it's just like a, a sandwich that's cut into two, right? So you've got two triangles in this square. When you make a cube with six, six sides, now you've got 12 triangles. Uh, that's 12 triangles, but when we're talking about a Boeing 737, like this one here, there's actually, well, let's have a little look. I'd like to see just how many there are. We're going to bring up the uh, 737 object, and it says, whoa, 11,584 tries. That is just crazy. So we need to try to whack that down somehow. Let me show you what I do. Over here, this piece of garbage is a uh, supposed to be a 737. And it's something that I show you when the 737 first appears on the horizon, in the distance. When you view this in the distance, you can't really tell. Uh, you're not going to enjoy this if you're watching it on a tiny mobile device, but let me just say that these two airplanes on the horizon look identical. You don't realize how much detail is missing. So that's the level, the magic of level of detail. But I want more than just these two levels. So let's take this and let's make a copy of it. And let's bring it side by side so that we can appreciate that these are two identical aircraft. And I'm about to use my favorite tool called Mesh Simplify. And this is something that I purchased for my program uh, called Unity. And it's a fantastic tool. And we're going to try and see what this airplane might look like if we took away 50% of the detail. Uh, anyone care to guess what this might look like? Let's try it. Computing, computing, computing. Oh, it's a complicated one. Let's have a look. Um, it's actually not looking too bad. Everything looks fairly decent, except that nose. Uh, I'm going to do this little trick called, in, called add a sphere, and what this means is um, it's, I'm going to tell it what to leave alone. And it's really doing a lot of damage to the nose of the 737, so I'm going to tell it to leave it alone. Anything that is in this cube is to be ignored by the crunch system. Let's try to be specific about what needs to be fixed. All right. Let's try that again. At 50%, let's try computing the mesh again and see what this looks like. OK, not bad at all. Not bad at all, considering that we've whacked this down 50%. I'm so excited, I want to try 25% and just see what happens. All right, let's try it. Uh, it's not looking too bad. Let's try 10%. What the heck? You only live once. Oh, that looks terrible. That is uh, that is not going to do. That just doesn't look like anything. Uh, it looks like some kind of Martian vehicle. Let's try 30%. Computing. That's not bad. 30%. These two airplanes look identical, and yet this one has only 30% as many tries. I'm going to whack it down a little bit more. I really want performance. I really want this to work well on Android devices, but that looks terrible. So we're going to bump her up to about 29%. Compute. Mm, that's still not good enough. Let's try 31%. I just want those windows to look normal. That's not looking bad. OK, I'm very, very happy with that. So. Let's assemble our level of detail now, shall we? I'm going to set these positions so that they're all the same. And if you notice, we've got three 737s all in the same place, and they all have varying degrees of detail. And what I want this level of detail system to do is show certain levels, a certain level for each distance. This is where I get quiet while I work. So just hang in there. You're going to be really impressed. You can be really impressed. Okay, one, two, and three. 
let's have a look at what I just did. This is, this is, oh, I forgot to do something. My bad. I could pause this, but I'll, I'll let you watch it. I have to save my work. Okay, it's saved. And I have to, okay, that's looking good. So here's our airplane when it's full of detail. Look how beautiful it is. And as we back away, we get farther. Oh, notice how the airplane just lost a bunch of detail. Well, that's level of detail in action. When the airplane's this far away, you won't care so much. And when the aircraft's on the horizon, you're going to see this god-awful gray thing. I'm not really happy with the distances. So, like, I don't want you to see that blocky version of the 737 unless it's really far away, like so. And this crummy version that uh, we just made, um, it's got some serious problems. Um, for example, I see the cockpit sticking out of it. Um, I think I can fix that by adjusting the position just slightly. All right. When the aircraft is about that far away, you will see the reduced version. And when the aircraft is on the horizon, you're going to see the blocky aircraft. But your eyes and my eyes cannot detect this. So I'm really happy with uh, what I've got going here. It's going to save a lot of performance. I'm doing this for all of my aircraft, and I hope to have an update out for you in about a week or so. That's about the end of May. And you should see some serious performance improvements with Airport Madness 3D. Thank you so much for watching.